What's going on all you gamers, here we are in Cyberpunk 2077 and today I'm going to be bringing you a build guide on how to kind of decimate very hard quite easily with our crazy slow-mo build guide. So if that interests you, stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls, so here we are just taking in the view of Night City, uh, Day City, Night, Night City in the daytime, well whatever we're doing we're taking in the view and it looks pretty breathtaking to be perfectly honest. And today I've brought you a build that I've been working on for a little while and I've kind of made sure that it's hardcore viable or very hard vi viable should I say. And what this build is built around is kind of a slow mode. and decimating your enemies so you do really high damage you do really fun damage as well and you've kind of got a medium to close range build you have got a little bit of distance thrown in there but it's not really a long distance build as such it's more kind of up close and personal more than anything else now if you're after a build that is fun uses guns to destroy everything and you activate slow-mo a lot this is the build for you if you're after someone that hacks a lot probably click off now this isn't the build i'll be doing today so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna chuck on a bit of footage of how this build kind of runs and you'll know from this whether or not you will enjoy it and want to kind of crack on with it hope you enjoy let's come up now Right, so if you're still with us, then hopefully that's something that you like, and hopefully it's something that you'd like to work towards. If it is, then I'll show you the stats, I'll show you what I've got on, and you should be able to chuck it all together yourself. So if we press start, and I go to the inventory, because this is kind of the bread and butter, this is what you're going to need, and these guns are ridiculously good. For your up-close, completely personal manoeuvre, 
this is the one for you, the Comrade's Hammer. And it is an absolute beast. This pretty much one shots everything in the game. Like you'd be really tough to kind of take a bullet from this, especially if it crits. I've seen it crit upwards of like 300k. It's it's ridiculous. It really is. I think its normal damage is about 40,000 a shot. And if you have a little look there, what it does as well, it's a modified clip contains only a single bullet laden with explosives. Basically, what that means is if there's people close to it, they will pop as well. Usually you get groups of threes in this, they all explode. Now you'll have to forgive my damage numbers, for some reason my game has recently kind of it's gone a bit funny. It was over 5,000 for the Comrade's Hammer. I can't remember the exact amount, but it keeps changing. So let me see if it changes when I've got it attached. Right, so yeah, now because I've pressed my left trigger button, it's gone to 6,000. I'm not sure if that's because the headshot multiplier has gone up or what. I don't know. My game's been acting a little bit funny. But yeah, this is a beast. Trust me, you'll want this in your life. This is an absolute beast and one of the best handguns in the game. Now, just down here, this is a hidden gem. I did not realize how good and how fun this gun is. This is like having a tank buster submachine gun handgun in your hand. It, it has such a kick to it. It is so fun to use and it is so, so strong. It really is. Trust me chuck this in your secondary slot you will have so much fun with this and finally for some reason the stats aren't coming like i said my game has been glitching out all day long i don't know why the stats on this aren't coming out but this does a fair chunk of damage as well i think it usually does about twenty thousand on a headshot on a crit i want to say i'm hoping i'm not wrong but yeah like it does a lot of damage and the main feature with this it shoots two bullets at once and as you can see here, this is it trying to tell me what gun I'm using. Yeah. And this gun is the Widowmaker. A really nice kind of medium to longer range. So you've got this as your closest, this as your mid range, and this as your slightly further back. It works really well. If you're a gun enthusiast in this game, you like slow mowing, you like being kind of matrixy or max pain, then this is the build for you. Now, over here on the right hand side, and literally make whatever you want. I would say what you'll be aiming for, for kind of the hardest setting, will probably be over 3000 in armor, and anything above that, you're very, very tough to kill. You'd have to be very unlucky with this build to die. It is possible, but if you didn't want to, all you would do, because I've got on here, if I show you these orange ones, increase damage and increase crit chance. All of the purple ones, they are armor. And that's just to boost it up over here by 3,000. So like I said, anything over 3,000, you're pretty much cushy unless you're unlucky. If you did want more, at the moment, these kind of orange ones or legendary mods they're not stacking perfectly. So if you wanted to take out the crit damage or crit chance, go for it and chuck on some more armor. You could very well make yourself invincible by just putting all armor in every single slot. It probably might get a little bit boring that way and you wouldn't do quite as much damage, but do it to how your stats kind of apply to you. So if you're struggling, chuck on more armor. If you're doing fine and you want more damage, chuck on some of these crit or the crit damage with variants. Now, just down here, and again, I have no idea why, and this is what I've chucked on, a blood pump. Just in case you get in trouble, you can activate that, and you'll get 90% of your health back. And this is glitched out for me as well. It's not working in the slightest. I've, I've never been able to make it work yet. I'm hoping it's just me, but if it's not, chuck something on that kind of works for you. Over here, whatever you want to chuck on, it's all good. Literally give yourself a little health pack in some way. And over here, if I show you the stats, you very possibly could get them a little bit higher. And like I said, mine tend to be changing a little bit. I thought the crit was above 70, it's gone down to 66. 
it is what it is. I can't do much about it with this game as it's kind of still a little bit glitchy. I love the game to bits. There's loads to do on it. But it's hard to work around things and work everything out when things change randomly. But yeah, the main thing you're looking for here is just your base damage, your DPS up the top there, and your crit and crit damage. Like I said, over here you've got a fair chunk of health. Nice bit of armor. It's a really strong build. Now, if we go over to the character, and these are the attributes. So, 16 in your body, 20 in your reflexes, 20 over here in your technical ability, 11 cool, and intelligence not much whatsoever. So, like I said, if this is a hacky build you're after, this isn't the one for you this time. Now, what I've done in the body, pretty much everything is chucked into athletics. So, if you have a little look, we've got carry capacity plus 60 i love this i am a big believer in trying to pick everything up and sell it on or dismantle it just kind of grabbing everything as you go probably the skyrim in me and all those type of games but i love being able to carry lots of stuff so we've got that right down the middle we've got regeneration and with this one health slowly regenerates during combat really nice to have just down here we have increases max health by 30 percent Health is always a good thing. You always want as much health as you can get. In some builds you might not need it. In this one you very possibly wouldn't need it. So if you were going for more armor, you may be able to get away with not having this. Just over here allows you to reload weapons while sprinting, sliding and vaulting. That's also very nice to have. If I go all the way over to the right, you've got health regen activates 90% faster during combat. Just over here, increase health regen in combat by 30%. So as you can see, basically we're going for a build that's kind of not unkillable, but as close to it as possible without completely overspecking on the armor. And then finally, we've got this epimorphosis. I hope I've got that right. Health regenerates up to 70% of max health outside of combat. And that's pretty much all I've needed to spec into this tree. If you wanted to chop and change, you very well could. Another thing you could do if you didn't want to spec into any of the um, rifle aspects that I've got on, you could go into Street Brawler and just use a really nice Gorilla Hands kind of um, style so that you'd be all completely close combat. It's down, to your, it's down to your kind of preference. Now, over here on the reflexes, and this is the main thing, it's the handguns. That's your main thing. That's what you'll need. And these are the ones you'll need for it. So just over here, if I actually start with the left hand side, it'd probably be a good idea. Brain power. After a successful headshot with a pistol or revolver, crit chance increases by 25%. And that lasts you five seconds. Then you've got down here, Wild West. Removes the damage penalty from pistols and revolvers when shooting from a distance. Again, mainly a pistol build, you'll want to chuck this on. Just down here, Vanishing Point. Evasion increases by 25% for 6 seconds, after performing a dodge with a pistol or revolver equipped. Just up here, we have Steady Hand. Reduces pistol and revolver recoil. Always nice, especially for our second gun Dan, the Quasar. And just up here, we've got Additional Fire. Firing consecutive shots with a pistol or revolver at the same target increases damage by 10%. To be perfectly honest, a lot of this is overkill. Most times things are dead in this really, really quick. If you wanted to spec out of some of these, you very well could. This is just for additional damage and a little bit of fun. High Noon increases crit chance with pistols and revolvers by 12%. Gunslinger reduces reload time for pistols and revolvers by 25%. You'll definitely want this one because our first primary is very slow at reloading. And just down here, as you can see, we've got a little bit more on the headshot damage multiplier. Pretty much just spec into all of these if you can, if you can't aim towards most of them. Desperado increases damage with pistols and revolvers 10%. Long shot drop pop. Increases damage with pistols and revolvers to enemies 5 plus meters away from you. Always, always well worth having. And Grand Finale. The last round in a pistol or revolver clip deals double damage. Now, the reason you'll want that one, I will show you in just a second, but that one is pretty much guaranteed got to have. 
just over here a fistful of dollars or a fistful of euro dollars sorry increased crit damage with pistols and revolvers by 20 percent over here increased crit chance for pistols and revolvers by 10 and over here, after defeating an enemy, fire rate for pistols and revolvers increases by 5% for 6 seconds. Stacks up to 5 times. This one, to be perfectly honest, I've put it on because I had the extra perks. If you didn't want to, you wouldn't 100% need this one. It's just for our second, second gun down the Quasar. Now, like I said, this one, the reason you'll want that is because basically your comrade's hammer only holds one bullet. So it's pretty much means it's double damage with every shot you do. And of course, the main thing you'll spec all of your additional perk points into, to be perfectly honest, if you didn't want to spec as many into all of the other stuff as I have, you didn't have to. Have a little play around and find your own unique style. But this one right here, after a successful crit hit with a pistol or revolver, damage and armor increases by 30% for 5 seconds, plus 1 perk per level. The reason you want this, as long as you're killing things with a pistol, your armour goes up ridiculously high, and your damage does as well. And your damage is already high, and your armour is already high, as long as, you're, as long as you're killing things pretty much every 5 seconds, you can make yourself very, very strong. And like I said, if you put your armour up enough, probably pretty much invincible to be perfectly honest, as long as you're shooting things. Now over here on the assault, and this is just to boost our um, our rifle as such that we've got on. If you didn't want to spec into this too much, spec into any of the other categories. This was just my personal choice, just to have a little bit of range. And I like the Widowmaker. But just over here you've got named bullets, increases crit damage with rifles and submachine guns 35%. Just over here you've got Duck Hunter, increases rifle and submachine gun, damage to moving enemies by 20%. Defeating an enemy with a rifle or submachine gun reduces reload time by 40% for 5 seconds. Just down here you've got increases head shot damage with sniper rifle and precision rifles by 30%. And over here you've got increases damage with rifles and submachine guns by 35% when standing still. A lot of times when you're taking those longer shots you will be behind cover you will be standing still and it's a tech tech rifle as well so you can shoot through things just over here we've got executioner deals 25 percent more damage with rifles and submachine guns to enemies whose health is above 50 percent you'll pretty much be one shot in most things to be perfectly honest just here you've got increases damage with rifles and submachine guns by 10 percent up here is Bullseye, increases rifle and submachine gun damage while aiming by 10%. Over here I've got increases rifle and submachine gun damage by 5% when firing from behind cover. Like I said, a lot of this is overkill. If you haven't got the perk points, don't worry too much. I would spec kind of into the handgun first and the crafting as such and then make your way across to the others. This one here, in perspective, bullets fired from rifles and submachine guns ricochet an additional two times. Do not worry about putting this on. Uh, this was a previous kind of um, a weapon build I was putting on. Leave this one out, you won't need it. Just down here, we've got long shot. Rifle and submachine gun damage increases the further you are lo located from enemies. This is really good, especially for what we're using. If you're going to use a sniper or kind of rifle as such, this is really good. Not as good for some machine guns, but really good for those. And over on the technical ability side, we've got these. And in the crafting, now I've actually kind of um, reset all of this, but I would say probably you will want most of this. So waste not, want not, and this is one of the most important in crafting. When disassembling an item, you get attached mods back. I cannot stress how important that is in this game. If you're going to be crafting, make sure you put one in that so that when you create all of your clothes, whether it be the lower items or the higher items, you can dismantle them and get off all of the mods. This is how you get all of your legendary mods really easy. Just over here, crafted weapons deal 5% more damage. Just up here allows you to craft rare, epic, and then over here, legendary items. 
and finally improves damage and all damage related stats of crafted weapons by 5%. They're the main ones for me. If you wanted to chop and change, you wanted to put a couple of extra on, you very well could. And this is why we've got this on. The engineering is just ridiculous. This puts the damage up so high on things. It really does. So what you want to do will be come over here and put increased crit chance with tech weapons by 10%. Tech weapons charge time is reduced by 20%. Increase the charge multiplier for tech weapons by 55%. Fully charged tech weapons deal 50% more damage. Just over here, reduce the charge amount needed for tech weapons to penetrate walls by 30%. This one I've put on grants immunity to shock and that one's just to make sure we've got all of them. So we're covered with shock poison bleed and i want to say stun i can't remember i'll have a look in a second over here is tech weapons ignore armor and finally just down the bottom here we have revamp and this is really good for our build increases damage from tech weapons by 25 percent increases charge damage from all chargeable weapons and cyberware by 10 percent plus one percent charge damage per perk level unlock that you'll do more damage. You're an absolute beast with this build on. You'll go around this, just decimating everything, having fun and slow mowing time as much as you want. Finally, over here on cool, if I just show you the stealth, I've got this over here, increases damage from headshots fired from outside combat. So pretty much like I said, just for our long range rifle. And just over here, assassin, deal 15% more damage to human enemies. Always a good one to have on, 15% is an extra 15% standard, and pretty much everything you're fighting is human most times. For the cold blood, if you'll have a look, it is all just in this area here, nice and easy to follow and well worth having. So over here we've got will to survive, increases all resistances by 5% per stack. Increases max stack, a mat for cold blood increases health regen inside and outside combat 100% per stack of cold blood. Over here we have extra headshot damage which is the main reason why we have this on 11 to be perfectly honest. Just over here we have reduces weapon recoil by 5% per stack of cold blood. This is good for our secondary gun the Quasar. Increases armor by 20% per stack of cold blood. Increases duration of cold blood by 10 seconds. And obviously, so as you're killing, you're getting even more armor, you're even tankier, you're even faster, which is what we're going for with this build. Enough speed to be able to move around in your slow-mo so that you're kind of normal pace, everyone else is slow mode, and you're kind of just decimating them. Right, so if I go to the cyberware, and what I'm going to do, I'll put timestamps in this because it will take a little bit longer, because obviously I've been explaining everything. So that way, if you've missed anything, or you want to come back to something, you should be able to click straight on it. So with the cyberware, this is what I've got. And like I said, we're lacking a little bit in intelligence, so we can't do too much on the frontal cortex. But what we have got is Helon Kill, so we get 6% basically back every single time we kill an enemy, which we're doing constantly. And just over here, a little bit of extra damage on your mechs and robots. That's Mechatronic Core. Now I think you might be able to get the purple, that one's easily enough, everything dies anyway. And just over here we've got the Kuroshi Optics, Optics, if I can say that properly, Mark 3. And as you can see on my one, I've got three of the increased headshot bonus damage. Now, as far as I'm aware, these do not stack in game currently. I have a feeling they should, that's why I've kept them on, but if you wanted to swap them out, you very well could, I think you just need one at the moment. If you wanted to swap them out for something else, I would very much recommend putting on probably Threat Detector, and maybe just over here, Increase Crit Chance. Just down here at the Circulatory System, we've got Bioconductor, reduces all cyberware cooldown by 20%. Now, this is the most important thing in the build, and I'll explain that in just a second. Well, actually, the most important thing in the build, along with the operating system. Just over here, we've got Blood Pump, 
And just over here we've got Second Heart. Instantly restores 100% of max health when you die. So basically it's like you've got two lives. With the blood pump, it's pretty much like you've got three lives because if you're really low on health, just press RB and activate it and you'll get full health back. Except it's not working in game at the moment. Now I don't know if it's just me, but it wasn't doing anything. There is another thing that you can replace this with that gives you 10% of your health whenever you kill anything. And that wasn't working for me either. But yeah, this setup should be fine once everything's cushy, and I don't know if it's just my game or not. So take that with a pinch of salt, it may work perfect for you. Just down here you've got Cata Resist, increase all resistances by 8%. And just over here, shock and awe, after taking damage, there is a 2% chance of releasing a large electric shock. Don't worry, these are not the be all and end all, it's just a little bit of fun to have on. Just over here we have Kerensikov, and this basically means when you press B, kind of double B and you do your slide or little dodge, once you press that left trigger, you'll be doing a 90% slow-mo for 3.5 seconds. Just over here, Nano Relays, and that will give you two, two seconds extra on your Kerensikov. Basically, you're really slow mode. That's really kind of what this is based around. So that's definitely worth having. And just over here, you have got Grant's Immunity to Bleeding. Over here is Grant's Immunity to Burn. And over here is Increases Armor by 200%. All in all, you will have pretty much 100% um, immunity to all effects once you've got these on along with the others in our build. Over this side I have got the skeleton that gives you increased health by 40%. If you can pick the purple one, pick that up. Again my game's glitching out when I do it, I change it over and my weight goes down to 300 so I can't really do that at the moment. Over here we have increased carrying capacity by 60% with titanium bones and like I said that's that's kind of one of the main things in this game you want a lot of carrying capacity chuck it on this one is completely up to you i always put smart link here just in case i want to chuck on one smart gun at some point over here we've got gorilla arms and i've just got them with physical damage and finally i've got reinforced tendons just because I'm kind of an old school Destiny player, I've played a lot of it, I like the double jump most in this, I don't like the big consecutive jump that makes you look like a pogo stick. So that's what we've got on for this, it definitely works, it's really fun, and like I said, with the operating system just up here, and with uh, this just over here, the bioconductor, because you've got both of those, because you've got purple mods in them, that reduced the time, Basically, you will press your LB and RB and you will be in slow-mo. The slow-mo will be 25% for 14 seconds. Once you come out of that, you I believe you have like one second between being able to activate again. But if you want, you just double tap B, go to a slow-mo over here on this, and then when you come out, activate this again. If you want to be pretty much in permanent slow-mo, you pretty much can. It may take half a second or maybe a second for the game to react, but other than that, you're kind of in permanent slow-mo mode as much as you want to be, and it's quite fun, and you can walk around people and shoot them as much as you want. Right guys and girls, I hope that hasn't taken up too much of your time. I know it will take a little while, as explaining the full build guide always does, unfortunately. But yeah, for the guns, literally I just chuck on the pacifiers to give them a little bit of extra crit damage, chuck on whatever you want you'll be doing enough damage to not have to worry too much if you want to chuck on the mod that stops the vertical recoil you could chuck that on you can make them your own style whatever you are do you'll be doing enough damage you'll be slow mo in time you'll be doing a bit of additional damage in slow mode so don't worry you'll be perfectly fine whatever you are do with them but yeah if you want to go around john woo style kind of matrix and just destroying the world then this is probably the build for you. Right guys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed. As always, for all things gaming, for all things Xbox, then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. As always, take care. I'll see you on next day.